NASA is looking to get a better handle on clouds and how they affect our planet, and they need your help. Find out how you can make an impact next on Real World. NASA wants to know all it can about clouds. How many are in the sky, what they look like, and how they affect the Earth. And they are doing some really cool stuff to learn about them. More on that in a moment. But first, what are clouds? We take them for granted because they are such a constant part of what we see every day. The dictionary defines clouds as a visible body of very fine water droplets, or ice particles, suspended in the atmosphere. But maybe instead of reading about it in a dictionary, it might be easier to show you what a cloud is. What we want to do today is show you how a cloud is made from water vapor. Great, okay. Richard Biles is the Director of Education at the Virginia Air and Space Center. So now we're ready to make a cloud. You are going to pour the liquid nitrogen, which is in here, and this is very, very cold. Pour it into the wok, which has a little bit of hot water in it. Pour it on in. Now we're making a very big cloud. Pour some more in there. Okay. That liquid nitrogen is taking that water and turning it into a vapor and making a cloud. These are little tiny droplets of water that are aggregated on dust particles. And clouds work the same way outside Richard's lab. Water evaporates and the vapors move up into the atmosphere. As the vapors ascend into the cooler temperatures at higher altitudes, little droplets are formed and they collect around aerosols, little dust particles in the air. That's when a cloud becomes visible as the light from the sun reflects off of the water droplets. Sometimes the little droplets become big enough that they become raindrops and fall out of the clouds. Clouds have many very practical purposes. They are part of the water cycle, transporting water across continents and across the world. And they have an impact on the radiation budget. That is how much energy enters and leaves Earth. NASA realizes how important clouds are and devotes a lot of resources to studying them. Lynn Chambers is one of NASA's lead scientists in the field of cloud observation. And Lynn needs your help. Lynn enlists school kids from all over the world to observe clouds and report what they see. Her program is called School, Students Cloud Observations Online. Lynn takes your data and combines it with data from NASA's Earth Observing System, specifically an instrument called Ceres, which stands for Clouds and the Earth's Radiant Energy System. Lynn and other NASA scientists use Ceres to get a better idea of how the clouds affect things here on Earth, like the radiation budget. So we're looking at understanding um, how clouds influence the amount of light that gets to the ground and also the amount of heat that gets sent back up into space. Each January 13th is Global Cloud Observation Day. It is the anniversary of the start of the school program and a day where Lynn looks for extra help observing clouds. She gets as many people on the ground as possible to record as much cloud data as they can. This is where you come in. By going to the school website, you can find out when the Ceres Cloud Observation Instrument will be passing over your area. Then go outside at that time and look up. Record your observations on the one-page report form that you can print from the website. Then fill the information in online and send it back. About a week later, your information will appear on the website, along with the data gathered from the Ceres instrument. The idea is that the student observations are the people on the ground can give us a different perspective than what the satellite can see. The satellite can see the tops of the clouds, people on the ground can see the bottoms of the clouds. Uh, people on the ground can also sometimes see through the clouds and you know, look at differential motions and can tell that there's more than one layer. We're trying to look for what we can learn about things like thin clouds, small clouds. Contrails can be hard to see from space, so that's a very interesting thing to look at. With your help, we'll all have a better understanding of how clouds affect our lives. 
To pitch in, surf over to this website or do an internet search for School Rover. That's S apostrophe C-O-O-L Rover. And take a look up every once in a while. You can learn a lot when your head is in the clouds.